Broke girls are begging men for money. There's a lot of hardship happening around us right now. Women are finding inflation to be extremely difficult. But even though that's happening, you have many of them still trying to flex. And a lot of them are, even the women who are entering into the conservative space, the manosphere, are refusing to acknowledge what women are like or doing in society or their own privilege. Check out this comment from Sarah. She said, and this was a response to my video, broke girls are crying as pretty girl privilege is dying. Sarah says, OMFG, it actually took me a minute to catch what I read. And I'm sorry for their problems, but pretty will only get you so far in life. And you should think, you should be thinking at least 10 years ahead on where the life you want is and where you are currently. And see where you need to work on. See, it's really what, what you need to work on. But yeah, now the thing is, I agree with her on this. All right. This is so everything sounds good at first. And I agree with her about the 10 year thing. You should always visualize five years in advance where you want to be. 10 years is even better. All right. But you should always you should always be looking five years ahead. So people are like, okay, I want to do this and this and this. My life isn't where I want it to be. That's why you look five years ahead. And that's something I actually learned from Vanessa Law, was a content creator on YouTube and helps people to build their business and their brand. But then, but then Sarah says something else. She goes, pretty privilege, in my opinion, doesn't exist. What? But the pretty entitled, on the other hand, are a different situation. I'll go back to lurking around now. And it's like, to say that pretty privilege doesn't exist is a joke. It's a 100% joke. Pretty privilege is real. Look at Chad. Pretty privilege is real. Women getting being pulled over by police officers and being told, you know, okay, we're not going to ticket you because you're a woman. Women being allowed into clubs and bars and being given free drinks and free everything. Women going out on dates with no money in their pocket. They don't even have money to get home because they expect that the man is going to pay for everything and cover their expenses to get there and go back. And then when the guy says, I'm not paying for the meal and I'm not taking you home, you can figure that out for yourself. They're like, I don't have any money to cover the bill and I don't have any money. I can't take myself home. I don't even have money for an Uber. A guy says, you know what? I'm not giving, I'm not, I'm not paying for your Uber. And he, she's like, well, then I guess that I'm going to walk and you're the, you, you give me the X. She can't even cover a $15 or $20 Uber trip. That just, that just shows you exactly where reality is, is at. You know, these women are living off pretty privilege. And as men are entering into their soft guy era, these women can't keep up. And I responded to Sarah by saying, I responded to her by saying, you make some valid points, but then you completely dismiss the concept of pretty privilege and try to replace it with entitlement. People with pretty privilege often feel entitled, but to say that pretty privilege doesn't exist is to basically discredit the experiences and observations of men entirely. The same people are not treated differently based on how they look and also based on their gender means you're just quickly deflecting the experiences of men. But if the roles were reversed, I wonder if you would say the same thing. So if we were to reverse the role, if we were to reverse, reverse the roles and say that, OK, well, what about the privilege of men and all of this? Oh, well, it's different when it comes to men. Guys, that's why I say we have no friends here. We have no friends here. OK. They will say anything and everything that they possibly can to come at us, all right? Because basically, they don't care about men. They don't like men. And as they see men walking away right, away right now, they will say anything to get us back to that plantation, but they will never acknowledge the reasons why we're actually walking away from it. But it's, fun, it's fine because everything is falling apart. These women are broke. They don't have any money right now. Society is collapsing around us. The sit guys, the state is broke. The state is broke. And they can and the more money they print, the worse the inflation gets. Major cities across the US are in financial trouble. I think we can all agree on uh, that we're broke. We're seeing sales tax come down, we're seeing business tax come down, and stays in our hotels come down. One study says that 53 of the largest cities in the United States haven't generated enough revenue to cover their bills. Clearly, there are significant capital needs, you know, across the U.S. Several cities spent years taking on debt to fund services. 
And now some public officials are reining in spending. We've got to be careful because you don't want to get into too much debt. Rising debt may lead to dirtier streets, fewer public services, and tough decisions from public officials that need to make ends meet. The cities that are in trouble, they have a cash flow problem. They may be able to count on some revenue growth. Increasing taxes may be an option. Short of that, they're going to have to cut services or benefits. Why are so many U.S. cities going broke? And what will that mean for residents of our biggest and busiest places? I want, to go, I want you guys to understand something, that cities can go bankrupt. This is, guys, we do not live in a democracy or a republic. We actually live in a federal corporation. There was a law, there was a change that happened, I forget if it was like in the 1800s, and I think, I believe it happened in like Colombia, and basically all of these cities that we, ha- all of these cities, they operate as corporations. All of the cities across the United States, they operate as corporations, okay? Our our state, our local government and our federal federal government, they are corporations. They are not republics. They are not democracies. They are corporations. They are federal corporations, and they that's and that's, this is how they're able to take on things like massive amounts of debt. Okay, they can go bankrupt. A city can go bankrupt and default on its debt because it's living off loans. That's a very, imp- very important thing to consider. They printed all of this phony money and they've taken on all of this debt that now they're seeing hyperinflation and they, they can look to the government to give them more, f- give them more money, but they know what's going to happen. The more money you print, the less valuable the money becomes. And Americans, guys, we're, guys, do you remember when $5 gas was driving people crazy a couple of years ago? We are literally on $7 gas right now in some places of the U.S. In California, $7 gas. We're not even talking about $5 gas anymore. $5 gas is now like a thing of the past. We're like, oh, well, $5. We were crying over $5 gas. We are on $7 gas right now, and we're in the best economy ever. We have one of the lowest unemployment rates in history. This is the saying, even though we're losing millions of full-time jobs every single month and barely anyone can find a job right now, but we are not in a recession. Things are going very, very well. Things are going extremely well. Do you see the reality of it? The cost of food. I mean, guys, what's happening in, 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 in California right now, you look at the cost of food in, in California, people are literally screeching and hollering right now, like $25 Right now in California, they they have they have a special where it costs more than twenty five dollars at McDonald's for some chicken nuggets and two fries without even a drink. Guys, drinks from McDonald's, eighty size, used to be a dollar. Like ten years ago, you could get eighty size of drink at McDonald's for one dollar. You can get a large, you can get a small, you get any size for one dollar. Okay, now a lot of drinks will cost you four or five dollars at McDonald's. At, at Burger King, guys, what they're doing is they're you can order a large drink and they don't even fill it all the way up. It's a, it's 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 a scam. The chicken, the uh, fish sandwiches at McDonald's, they've now made them smaller, but then they claim that they're still the same size. Guys, they they need to sue the heck out of these people. These are not chicken sandwich. These are not fish sandwiches. These are fish bites. They are fish bites. And this is the reality, the sad, pathetic reality we now live in. This is the garbage that they have spoon-fed to us. People cannot eat. They are living entirely off debt. They're living entirely off debt. And they have bamboozled, bamboozled, bamboozled all of us. And modern women, they are, guys, they don't have it. They are broke, 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 broke. They don't got it. They don't have it. All right. And when you see comments like the comment from this individual, and I think she meant well, but bro, to say that pretty privilege doesn't exist and that women are not getting free things in society and not living that they have not been living off their looks. They have not been living off the fact that they are women and all and and men just basically subsidizing their living. Oh, my gosh. Guys, 
This is the reason why I told you they will double down till the very end of time and say that they don't have privilege. There's no such thing. Women have women are the women are women are victims and men are villains. And of course, you know, you have videos now. I showed you one in another video where women are basically complaining that men don't want to go into society anymore. These men are refusing to leave their homes. They're refusing to go to the gym, they're refusing to go to the park. They're refusing to go to places where they're refusing to go into public. And they're instead saying that I can stay at home. I can work. <laughs> the home is so nice. I can stay inside. I could work out, work on myself, focus on myself, you know, get things done. And women are furious about this because they can't have, they can't get access to these men. And if these men want to go on dates or they want to get married, they're just going to go overseas and do that. But a lot of them are more than fine. Yeah, a lot of them don't even want to date anymore. They don't they don't care if it's they don't even care about going overseas. They don't care about <laughs> they are perfectly happy <laughs> staying inside of their homes and not going anywhere. And just basically working on themselves, working on their music, you know, day trading, playing video games. They are so happy just to be alone and not to have to put up with the stress that bringing that women are bringing to them. But guys, don't forget I have another channel called Angry Where I Discuss Gaming, Anime, Geek Stuff, Nerd Stuff, Real World Stuff, and whatever else interests me. There's a link to the description of the video. Go check the channel out. Support the content. And, you know... Guys, if you're enjoying the content on this channel and you want even more Angry Guy content, I release daily videos on the Men Walking Away channel. There's a link to the Men Walking Away channel description of the video. Go check it out. Subscribe. Enjoy the content. Guys, what do you think about this? Broke girls are begging men for money. I want to hear your thoughts on this. Let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, Men Walking Away. And cheers.